Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. My name is Merv and today's video is just going to be a review of this Jessica Rabbit type hair that I am styling today. I am so excited about this hair because I think it is so effing pretty. It came out so much better than I could have ever imagined. I cannot wait to share the details on this hair with you guys. So if you would like to know what is all going on over here, then please keep on watching. Girl, your melon is popping. It's popping. It's popping. Don't let nobody stop. Don't let nobody stop. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about how I'm giving you guys side part realness today. This is the first time I think I've ever worn a side part on my channel, which is kind of crazy to me because there was a time where I was only wearing side parts, but this year I kind of got into a very middle part type flow, but I am happy to be getting back to my side part roots and I gotta say that I am really, really feeling this hair, you guys. Uh, let me show you guys really quick how I styled it. what the original texture of this hair was. Matter of fact, I didn't even mention where this hair was from, did I? That's because I'm so excited. Okay, this hair is from March Queen Hair. Uh, I got a 13 by six, so this frontal is huge. I got a 13 by six frontal in their Malaysian body wave and two bundles of 22 and two bundles of 24. I don't have all of that hair installed, but I think I have about like three and a half packs of hair with the frontal. Matter of fact, no, I'm wrong. I think I have like two bundles in here, you guys, because like I said, the frontal is ginormous. The frontal is like half the size of my head. Let me show you guys. So I'm just gonna part my hair anywhere and show you like all the root realness. Like, like look at how far back that, um, that lace is going. Like the lace, the lace goes back. The lace goes back like all the way over here on my head. So this is all lace. I didn't lay down the cap or anything so it, it's lifting, but don't you mind that. This is all lace. It's so effing bomb, you guys. I love it so much. So, uh, yeah, wait, let me get my, let me get my Jessica Rabbit back on, hold on. All right, girl, so let me, get into this hair review because I need to get my life together. I'm just a little too amped right now. So like I said, this hair is from March Queen Hair. Uh, I have in a frontal that is 20 inches and I have in installed two bundles of 24 and a little bit of the 22 only because I didn't have any more room to put the rest of the hair. So this is what it came out looking like. This is where it falls on me about like mid, not mid, but like pretty much down my um, down my waist to my hip bone I am five foot two I haven't had body wave hair if you can believe it for years I think the last time I had body wave hair was in 2012 and I don't know what I was doing with my life because I am so here for this hair like I even love the way it looked like fresh after the co-wash the way you guys saw it when I was getting ready and when I was um 
not when I was getting ready, but when I was originally curling the hair, like the way it was in like its big poofy state, like I really love that too. So I, I, I have no problem wearing the hair out like that either, but this is what it looks like after it has been curled. And I gotta tell you, it is freaking dope. It curled beautifully as you guys saw and I just I just love it so much it has so much volume so much bounce the luster is like perfect there's no product in my hair I never put product in my hair just so you guys know in case I forget to mention it in a video if I do put product I'm more likely to say that I put something in it than for me to say that I don't have product in the hair so this is what the hair is looking like with absolutely no product just a, a co-wash and that is it I think the parting is absolutely phenomenal. It's, you get parting for days. I did get, oh, the hair is in my face. I did get the size 13 by six. So like I said, it's like huge. It, the, the, the frontal is about half the size of my head. So I can literally do so many styles with this hair. I can do up styles, you know, that half up, half down thing, which I plan on doing because I think that's really cute. You can do side parts. You can do so many things with this hair because of the versatile um, frontal. So I really love that. It bleached so nicely, you guys. It bleached quickly and I feel like it looks super realistic now. Here are the edges in case I haven't shown you guys that yet. I just did a couple of baby hairs in it. It could have been nicer, but I don't know. I get like, when I'm doing my hair in front of the camera, like, I don't know, like I freeze up. I get stage fright talking to you guys and doing my hair at the same time. So it's not, um, it's not as great as I usually try to get my baby hairs, but I felt like it was decent enough for my first time for doing anything in front of the camera. So yeah, this is what the um, frontal and the parting space is looking like, and I think both are excellent. The hair did have a smell when I first got it, but not an overwhelming one. It wasn't, you know, terribly bad. I would say that the smell of the hair on a scale of one to 10, I would say that this hair was like, a. Uh, Four, three, four, like barely any smell, but the smell came out um, after washing. Yeah, um, you you don't smell anything now. Just it just smells freshly washed. As far as shedding, tangling, I have no tangling issues with this hair, which I am super happy to um, discover because a bitch like me cannot take any tangling I have I get really frustrated when I can't run my fingers through my hair if there's like any kind of like major snags or if I always have a problem with tangling I I get like to me the hair is is trash if it's tangling up so I'm really happy that I am having no tangling issues with this hair like I said I wasn't wearing it the past few weeks but I did have the wig out I was constantly looking at it I was constantly playing with it you know just checking up on it making sure it was safe and sound and I always ran my hands through it I never got any tangling issues I am also finding that I'm not getting any shedding with this hair uh, I don't I'm not getting anything in my hand when I'm running my fingers through it and like I've mentioned in the past you guys this is hair this is money this is money that you spend to you know make yourself have a look that you want to be happy with don't treat your hair like trash don't like throw it to the wayside and mistreat it and you know not take care of it not keep up with the upkeep and then expect it to be bomb whenever you wear it you gotta be you gotta be tender and loving with your hair when you purchase it and it'll be good to you hopefully if the hair is not trash hopefully it'll be really good to you if you guys are having you know trouble with any of your hair not you know just from this company but in general if you're feeling like your hair is not behaving the way it should you know consider the way that you're storing it the where you're keeping it and that might that might contribute to what is wrong with the hair because I know there are hairs that I've literally tossed off my head and just thrown anywhere to hell and I'm like yo why is this hair so matted up why is this hair so trash when I try and take it out two weeks later to wear so just be aware of that you guys because I'm not getting any shedding I'm not getting any any tangling but like I said this hair has been hung up for the past two weeks and um, yeah that might have something to do with it.
Now since this is the first day that I have curled this hair, I can't tell you how long the curls last for, but I will definitely update you guys on my snap. So if you are not following me on snap, go ahead and follow me. I will follow you back and you will get to see what my thoughts are on these curls. And of course I will give periodic updates on how the hair is holding up. Now when I was curling the hair, I did find that it was really easy to get these um, curls. Typically like back in the day, with um, hairs that I used to get when I was much younger, like beauty supply store hair, I used to have to hold the curl in for like a minute in order to get them to be the way that I wanted, which was very big and bouncy, kind of like the way I got these curls. Uh, I would have to hold the iron to it for a good minute or so in order to get the curl that I wanted. But with this hair, I am super lazy and I didn't have the time to hold the iron as long as I used to in the past. So I kind of just held it for maybe 10 seconds for each curl and I think it came out exactly the way I wanted it. Like I wanted this kind of S style kind of curl and it came out perfectly in my opinion for the look that I was going for. Now like all of my units, I make the wigs on a dome cap. I just sew the tracks on and sew on the frontal or the closure. I lay my baby hairs and then I come and chit chat with you guys and chop it up. So it's really easy. Um, it's nothing special. I don't have a you know special technique or anything like that. It's pretty much you know just trial and error. Do what you think you want. Try to achieve the look you want to achieve and play with it and you'll eventually get the style that you are going for. All right you guys that is it for this review. I just love this hair so much. I can't I can't get over how good it came out. I really thought I was going to freaking destroy this hair when I tried to put some curls in it because I haven't curled my hair in years, but I really am happy with the way it came out and the way that I was able to maneuver around the biggest frontal I've ever seen in my life. So I'm really happy with this hair. I highly, highly, highly recommend it for those of you who want that kind of, you know, sexy bombshell type of hair. This is like a really, really, really get great choice. If you do um, end up getting hair from them, I would love to hear from you and what your experience was with them, how you like the hair, and you know, what your hair plans are for this winter. I would love to hear from you guys. Leave me a comment down below and add me on Snapchat because I do add back all of my subscribers. I love talking to you guys on there. I can't believe how many of you have added me on Snapchat. It's so incredible. I love talking to every single one of you and yeah, I'm really enjoying YouTube. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing and what I'm talking to you guys about. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me and I can't say thank you enough. So thank you guys and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.